you know, there was this, this moment I had, I was at the Metropolitan Museum of Art and I saw all this really beautiful art, but it was made by someone like me, a maker, an artist, for a dead rich guy. You know, a sculpture for a pope, a sarcophagus for a pharaoh, a painting for a hedge fund guy. Well, and then I went to the African department and I saw all these things were made by makers for people, for themselves, or people in their community. And I thought, I want my work to function the way those things work, where there's um, a utility that drives it. The works in this collection, I chose specifically to support the works in the other room. There's an arc of found objects. These are scrap steel or iron in this case. These objects were badly welded together. Gonzalez, who was the man who taught Picasso how to weld, always was dedicated to the figure. This hand with nails through, you can clearly see and those are found nails, a found piece of pipe, a found railroad tie, cut and welded to make a hand or a, or a mask, using found things for a great industry um, to make sculpture. And this is a strategy that later I adopted with things that you see in the other room, which is using the things from culture. And so you'll see found Makita batteries or Con Ed barriers. This is, these are the things of my life. Tea Garden has sort of three main points. Uh, so like the outer garden, the middle gate, the inner garden, and then the tea house itself. The symbol of our space program, the cinder block, which is, you know, after you show up with a Bible and a shotgun, you tell them how the, the, the locals, how it's gonna be. The next thing you do is you knock down the round buildings and you put up some square ones. And that's the DNA of the square architecture. Artists sign their work and those are methods of consecrating it uh, and, and taking responsibility for it. Because the more responsibility that something has, the more weight it has. If you have read a note and you don't date it, it doesn't mean as much. 